in this problem from ISI entrance 2023, we work with a very interesting sequence of numbers that is defined recursively. Uh, the first number of the sequence is half, 1 by 2. And from the second number onward, a n is defined as square root of 1 plus a n minus 1 by 2. So if I wanted to calculate a 1, I would have to do one, square root of 1 plus a naught by 2, which would have been square root of 1 plus half by 2. So this is a 1, right? Now, this is how this infinite sequence is defined. There are two parts to this question. The first part is really the clue for the second part. So the first part says that show that a n is equal to cos theta n. For some theta n, some angle between 0 and pi by 2. And these are strict less than, okay? So each term of the sequence can be regarded as cosine of some angle, and that angle is between 0 and pi by 2. And in the second part of the sequence, we have to, second part of the question, we have to evaluate this limit. Limit n tends to infinity, 4 to the power n times 1 minus a n. Okay? So, let's see how we can do this problem. It's a very interesting one. The first step is very easy. We will use induction. Induction. And it's really a one-line thing. A0 is half. Obviously, it's between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1. Therefore, there is some angle. There is some angle theta 0 such that cosine of theta 0 is a naught which is half there is some angle right uh, if you remember the picture of the cosine graph so at 0 degrees it's 1 and at pi by 2 it's 0 at pi by 2 it's 0 so, somewhere here, for half, we will get this angle, theta naught. For the, for the, sorry, it's just the opposite, actually. Uh, for half, we will find an angle, theta naught. So, it's the actual value of theta naught is not that important. Now, assume assume that for a n minus 1 this is true that means a n minus 1 is equal to cosine of some theta n minus 1 suppose this is true with that we will show a n is between 0 and 1 and then immediately we can say that a n is equal to some cosine of theta and theta n, right? That's all we have to show that the number a n is between zero and one, and that's quite simple. Since cosine of theta n minus one, or rather a n minus one, is less than one, therefore a n minus one plus 1 is also less than 1. Why is the first line true? Well, cosine of anything is less than 1, right? So, a n minus 1 is less than 1. Now, a n minus 1 plus 1 is less than 1 plus 1, that is 2. 
which means a n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 is less than 2 by 2 which is 1 therefore square root of a n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 is less than that's less than 1 okay so this much is easy and that's this is equal to a n so we just showed that a n is less than 1 and it's obviously less greater than 0 because of course it's a square root of something positive uh, square root always gives positive output so a n is between 0 and 1 therefore a n is equal to some cosine of some angle that much is very easy actually what is a bit clever so here is the bit clever part is the relationship based between theta n between theta n and theta n minus 1 relation between theta n and theta n minus 1 so let's see what that relationship is we know that a n is equal to square root of a n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 that is the recursive relation now a n is cos theta n and this is square root of cosine of theta n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 now we can square both sides so we get cosine square theta n equals to cosine theta n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 and then we can take the 2 upstairs and the 1 to the left hand side so we have 2 cosine square theta n minus 1 is equal to cosine theta n minus 1 but this is simply by using multiple angle formulas this is simply cosine of twice of theta n is equal to cosine of theta n minus 1 we know that theta n is between 0 and pi by 2 which means theta n times 2 is between 0 and pi so cosine of theta n minus 1 since cosine of theta n minus 1 is equal to cosine of 2 theta n therefore theta n minus 1 must be equal to 2 theta n right because between 0 and pi the cosine function is 1 on 1 right so it's 1 on 1 so uh, for every value unique values of the output is produced by unique value of the input so it's not repeated so theta n minus 1 must be equal to twice of theta n this is the relation the magic relation that will unlock this problem so we are done with the first part we have to now work on the second part which is limit 4 to the power n 1 minus a n now this is very easy now this is part b limit n tends to infinity 4 to the power n 1 minus a n which is simply limit n tends to infinity 2 to the power 2 n and this is 1 minus cos theta n this is simple using multiple angle formulas this is 2 to the power 2 n times 2 times sine square theta n by 2 theta n by 2 right theta n by 2 and we know that theta n is equals to 1 by 2 times theta n minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times theta n minus 2 and so on equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power n theta naught that's what we will be using here because finally we have to get up to 3 theta naught so what do we have so the limit becomes limit n tends to infinity we have 2 to the power 2n times 2 sine square 
वन बाय टू टू दी पावर एन प्लस वन इनटू थीटा नॉट इनटू थीटा नॉट राइट बिकॉज देर वाज ऑलरेडी वन टू हियर एंड वी हैव इफ वी गो अप टू थीटा नॉट वी हैव टू गो अप टू 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 दी पावर एन हियर सब टू टू दी पावर एन वन बाय टू टू दी पावर एन टाइम्स थीटा नॉट times half so that's this okay so we are almost there we are almost done uh we can just multiply a half multiply a half and multiply a two inside so what we have is half times limit n tends to infinity Sine one by two to the power uh, uh, one by two to the power n plus one theta naught by one by two to the power n plus one, right? Whole square. So you saw how I wrote this. So this part becomes uh, two to the power two n plus. Two, which is two to the power n plus one whole square, which is one by two to the power n plus one whole square. So that's that's what we have. Okay. So if n goes to infinity, then one by two to the power n plus one times some constant theta naught goes to zero, right? This quantity goes to zero. So, but we have to do a little bit more, a little bit more. So maybe we can just put a theta naught inside to adjust this, and you know, adjust it back by the naught square outside. So what we have here is theta naught square by two limit. T tends to zero, sine t by t whole square, right? Where t is equal to one by two to the power n plus one times theta naught. So I just multiplied theta naught and uh, theta naught in the denominator, and I balanced it out by a theta naught square, and this is a constant number because cosine of theta naught is just half. So it's a constant number, so I have to bring it out. I can bring it out the limit. Okay, so this is done actually, because this is a famous limit. What is the value of this? You can tell me in the comment section, and then therefore you can tell me the final answer in the comment section. This is just one more line. I think all of you will be able to do it from here. So just tell me the final answer in the comment section, and if I'm wrong in some step, please do indicate that uh, we will do this together, right? Okay, keep on doing good mathematics, and I will see you in the next one.